every page of your website needs to focus on your customer if you're selling a product or a service and you hope to really connect with your customer. Hey, I'm Sasha Evdikov, and in this video, I wanna give you some insight behind how to properly structure your business about me page if you want it to convert and if you want it to connect with your customers better. So the thing is, is that most people do it incorrectly when it comes to their business uh, or selling their products or their services. They really hone in and focus their about me page about themselves. And although this may seem like the right thing to do because after all it is about you, shouldn't it be focused on you, but it's really the incorrect way of doing it. If the purpose of your website is really to connect with your customers, to sell a product or service that actually benefits them, then wouldn't you want to tailor your about me page as well for your customer? Here's what most people do. If I'm looking for someone to relieve my back pain, if I'm looking for someone uh, to get the kinks out of my shoulders, then I'm looking to, for maybe a massage therapist or a chiropractor. I go to his website and I see that he says, hey, I'm 45 years old, I've been doing this for 25 years, I grew up in uh, Utah, I went to school there, and I got a lot of different uh, great recognitions for massage therapy. Go ahead, I'm available for massage therapy, and I'm also available to uh, get a lot of uh, muscle soreness out of you. So if I read this kind of biography, or in the About Me page, it really doesn't connect with me or connect with the problems that I typically have uh, regarding getting the kinks out of my shoulders, regarding getting the back pain uh, out of my back, maybe help me stand up a little bit more straighter. It doesn't solve a lot of my problems. Yet this is exactly what many people focus on. And this is the way they structure their About Me page. Instead, you have to flip this mindset, transform over here, and move to focusing in on your customer, rather than just focusing in about yourself. So I'm gonna share with you a little example from one of my friends uh, about doing services in the dance business. So her name is Agnes Maslanka, and you can see her website here. Now if we go to the info page or the information about me page, you can quickly get a glance of what the information page looks like, and this is what I normally see on most people's website. And I'll quickly scan and skim and read part of this so you get an idea of what's going on and what's happening. So pretend I'm someone looking for dance lessons. Let's just say I'm socially inadequate with people. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, nervous to connect with people or to go dancing because I don't have the necessary skills. Maybe I'm a brand new beginner and I'm just worried about taking private lessons because people are just so good. Uh, or I could be a little bit more intermediate or advanced to the fact that maybe I want to learn how to compete better and win competition. So if this is what I'm looking for, then let's read this bio and how it relates. So here you can see Agnes Maslanka was born in Opel, Poland and trained in hip hop contemporary acrobatics and traveled across Europe uh, with her dance troupe. In 2003, she came to her with her family to the sunny and snowy free Clearwater, Florida, USA and organize and choreograph small pieces with a youth group at a church. Uh, let's skip a few lines, let's go on. She is now in addition to Florida's finest instructors, dancers, travels, competes. Agnes was currently performing at the dance company, so on and so forth. She is also certified swank instructor. She believes that dance and music are important for the body and soul, and so forth. Towards the end, we have a little uh, piece that's, uh, that really directly more relates for me. Miss Agnes is available for private lessons, choreography, group classes, judging, and event coordination. Now this in part relates to me, let's say I'm looking for private lessons to better my dancing, or maybe I'm getting ready to go to a wedding and I just don't want to look silly or look like a fool, so I may want to choose a few private lessons. However, if you look at the whole information page as a whole, you can see about 80 to 90% of it is focused on Agnes. Whereas if we break it down, about 10% is focused on uh, the customer or the consumer or me or what benefits I can retain. And when we look through these pages, us being the consumer, we're a little bit selfish. We're always thinking, what can I get out of it? So if I wanted to refocus this bio or about me page onto the customer, I would say something along the lines of this. Hey, my name is Agnes, and I've been dancing for a little over 10 years. In those 10 years, I've helped dozens of couples 
reach intermediate dancing levels in their bracket. I've also helped many people win gold and silver medals in lots of different tournaments and championships at dancing events. If you're interested to really hone in, focus on your basics, your techniques, and get rid of some of those mistakes that you commonly make, or maybe just get involved with the people around your community and be more socially outgoing, then go ahead and sign up with a private lesson with me by calling me at this and this number. So as you can see, this really focuses more on what you can do for the customer rather than what happened in my past life. Because now what happened in my past life is not really relevant to my customers or my consumers. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. If you're interested to get more videos like this one, go ahead and check out some more videos right over here by clicking this link and you'll get notified when I release new videos. And thanks again for watching. If you're interested to learn more about business and take your business knowledge a little bit further, then check out some of my courses at backstageincome.com. Thanks for watching and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, and most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.